So, the first, the climate challenge. Understanding and managing climate change. Well, uh, I could stand here and give you lots of info on all the scientific projects that we're doing, but unfortunately there's simply not the space in which to do that. Uh, what I will say about climate and about our research here is that we look beyond simple change in temperature. Climate change is not just about temperature. Uh, we've seen recent changes to the hockey stick diagram, which is one that looks at the last thousand years, uh, and we've actually seen models proven right, uh, models that were predicting change uh, in the late 1990s, proven right quite recently, and that's a paper that showed it. I wanted to look at another part of climate change, and that in particular is hydroclimate, what changes to water, water resources. So, quite simply, water, water everywhere, but how many drops will there be to drink in the future? Very clearly, weather is changing, we've seen that. Uh, so, if you remember back just over 12 months ago, we were in a drought, very clearly, a uh, very big drought. Picture of the River Kennet there, uh, and also this distribution that happened in the United Kingdom of uh, particularly low rainfall uh, in the southeastern corner uh, and unusually high rainfall in the northwest. Really quite quickly things changed, very, uh, very quickly indeed in fact, uh, and we've all seen pictures and we're all familiar with the changes that we had during the summer, uh, which of course was uh, very, very wet indeed, and we had a whole sequence of wet months. Where rain falls is an issue. Uh, it means the resource map is changing. If that rain provides us with drinking water, uh, that resource map is then going to change. It changes not just because of precipitation change, but also because of population change. Where are people going to be? Uh, how many new abstractions can you take? And this map is taken from uh, the Environment Agency Report 2010, looking at uh, the potential availability of new abstractions. So dark colours there means that there's likely to be uh, a fair amount of water. But of course, certain parts of the UK are more or less sensitive uh, to those changes, depending on how much of our supply comes from surface water or indeed from deep water sources or abstractions. So, focusing on the research that we do within uh, SOGES, within um, the Centre for uh, Environment and Society, we are really interested in uh, jet streams and where water gets delivered, essentially, where storms go and where they have gone in the past uh, and what controls uh, those particular storms. So, Peter Gibbs there, with a lovely uh, graphic next to him flying out from his hand, looks like uh, Harry Potter almost, um, and a nice picture from space as well. The jet stream controls where our weather goes, uh, and it was the jet stream moving that actually caused uh, the changes from drought to flood. Some of the research that uh, I've been working on in particular um, has been looking at changes in the jet stream, uh, what controls that, defining jet stream control on regional precipitation. We've been looking in the southern hemisphere in particular, uh, and if you look and the graph on the right hand side there, that's really demonstrating that actually as things are changing and have changed in the last 10 or 20 years, there's been increased drought, particularly in uh, Argentina in this case and also in the Falkland Islands. Um, this is a nice example, it's a very good place to go and have a look for changing jet stream. One of the key things we're looking for in the future is potentially how we might uh, see that uh, in the Northern Hemisphere as well. So a key challenge for us for future grants, future research, and future work with stakeholders, is to define those challenges, on those changes, sorry, on the same time frame, so 25 year planning, uh, and the same space scales as regional resource management. And that is what we are looking forward to doing next. And with that, I'll pass on to my next uh, person, please. Excellent.